All right, so we're going to have some fun. Um, you guys wanted me to do a uh, Blender tutorial on cyber faces. I do not do cyber faces. I've never done cyber faces. I, it's just not my thing. I'm not that good at it. I've never cared about it. I mean, I apologize. I'm not the man for that. However, I do know how to do it, so I will show you how to do it. Um, you can load up Blender and do the, you know, AA, delete, okay, you know, get rid of all that stuff. Then we're going to import the face for, guess who, Paul Pierce. Act surprised. I might be a Celtics fan, if you didn't know. So, zoom in on his face, and we don't need to do any scaling or anything with this, because it's a nice and small height. As you can see, this is the cyber face for Paul Pierce. Now, the problem is, if you write, there's all these different um, scenes you can edit with his eyes, his mouth, his headband. But all we want is his facial structure. And if you press tab, you know, this is not the easiest thing to edit. I mean, you know, if you try to select some vertices, you're selecting on the front of his face and the back of his head. And in that you this is really difficult to edit. I mean, you might be able to grab his ear and make them even bigger. But, uh, you know, even then, you're still grabbing things you don't want to be grabbing. So the easy way to get around this is if you click right here and you change it to either a solid, shaded, or a textured uh, draw type, um, you can, when you do a selection, you only select what is visible. You don't select the other side of the head. So let's say we want to just take a little bit of that nose and let's make it a little bit bigger. Sure. I mean, you know, I'm just screwing around. So that's how you only, that's, you know, the best way to do it. And the other thing that might help you if you're, uh, you know, editing cyber faces is you want to actually see the texture on the player. So if you extract the texture too, you can click here, change this to the UV image editor. And then we can go to Image, Open, and we can open up the uh, DDS file for Paul Pierce. And of course, have it not do anything. Are you serious? Uh, let's try that again. Open, Up, Temp, Paul Pierce, Open. There we go. I don't know why that didn't work the first time. All right, well, here we can see the actual Paul Pierce uh, texture. And that's his texture maps right to his head. And this is directly exported from the uh, um, the file. So it still has that alpha layer, which is why you can see through his head, you can see through his beard and stuff where there's hair, where there's an alpha layer that you need to edit. So that, you know, is a little distracting, doesn't really help you too much. So if you go back into edit, select it all evidently, image, we're gonna replace it with Paul Pierce 1, this one I got rid of that alpha layer so you had the full texture and now it actually kind of looks like him and you can change this to faces to the lines, vertices, whatever you want to edit and this, you know, without, you know ignoring the eyes and the headband actually looks like him so this make it might make it easier if you want to edit his lips or something and then you can just scale that. Sure. I mean, you can do whatever it is you sacrifice people want to do. I mean, you know, this might help with uh, making, uh, wow, this is hideous, <laughs> other players. Because you can, uh, wow, take their head and, you know, oh my god. What have I done? <laughs> oh, I hope that's a thumbnail. Okay. But you can take, you know, the other player's textures and put them on here like this, and it might help you uh, figure out, you know, how to shape the head to make it look more like the player instead of doing this travesty of a... Oh, my goodness, Paul. What have I done to you? Oh... 
that is hideous. Yeah. And of course, um, you know, we had LeBron with the triple headband. So you can go ahead and grab the headband and make scale edits as you please to give it that triple headband look or however you want to do it. But, I mean, oh my god. <laughs> Alright, so that's the end of this one. Um, just a quick little, you know, just a little tips on how to do cyberface editing. And this is why I do not do cyberface editing. Oh, I'm going to have nightmares. Okay, I'll see you at the next one. <laughs>